हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग नाउ टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माई लेक्चर इन द सीरीज ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन द सेम कॉन्टेस्ट हियर टू डे एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट टू एड्रेस रोमबर्स इंटीग्रेशन बट जस्ट बिफोर रोमबर्स इंटीग्रेशन यू नो कि दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन न्यूटन कोर्स फार्मूला तो जस्ट बिफोर दैट द मोस्ट एसेंशियल पार्ट इज टू डिस्कस एक्स्ट्रापोलेशन मेथड तो नाउ इन रोमबक्स टू स्टडी द रोमबक्स इंटीग्रेशन आई हैव प्रिपेयर माई लेक्चर इन टू पार्ट वन पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एड्रेस हियर दैट इज एक्स्ट्रापोलेशन मेथड एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस द एक्चुअल रोमबक्स इंटीग्रेशन ओके तो लेटेस्ट लो वॉट इज द एक्स्ट्रापोलेशन मेथड टू ऑप्टेन डिफ्रेंसिएशन मेथड्स ऑफ हाई ऑर्डर वी रिक्वायर ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ टेबुलर पॉइंट एंड ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फंक्शन इवेल्युएशन एज वी नो ड्यूरिंग द न्यूमेरिकल कंप्यूटेशन सो देयर इज पॉसिबिलिटी दैट द राउंड ऑफ एरर्स ड्यूरिंग द कंप्यूटेशन इट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व दैट देयर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी that the round of errors may increase so much that the result may be meaningless it was experienced by mathematician by scholar ki if the round of error will increase so much then there is no relevance of result however it is possible to obtain highly accurate result by combining the computed values obtained by using a certain method with different step sizes so this was the technique which was observed by some mathematician we will look who is that and then on the basis of that assumption this technique is based so let us look what is the technique let fx denote the approximate value of f of the function f obtained by using a method of order p with step length h and look here f q h so this f q h denote the value of f obtained by using the same method the same method as discussed of order p with the step size mind it here the step size is q h so we may write the equation as f h is equal to f plus a x power p plus higher order let us suppose this equation number 1 on same ground you can define the expression for f q h also so f q h is equal to f plus a q power p h power p of higher order of p so this is let us suppose this equation number 2 so now you may eliminate this a just you look it is a may be eliminated from both the equations and we will get how you can eliminate that is quite easy you just you multiply this equation also by q power p so after multiplication both the equation by q power p and the simple elimination method you may eliminate and on simplification you will get f is equal to q power p you will get this result f is equal to q power p and Uh, 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 q power p into f h minus f of q h divided by q power p minus one plus higher order of p. So this uh, equation we will obtain by using this assumption sign technique. It means in nutshell you got f h is equal to f plus higher order, okay, which is of the order p plus one. So this equation has the order p plus one. This technique. Of combining, what we did, we have combined two computed values. It means this technique of combining two computed values obtained by using the same method with two different step sizes to obtain a higher order method, which is called the Richardson extrapolation. Okay, so on his name, this method is known as Richardson extrapolation. as uh, uh, many of you you have already discussed with interpolation but now this is known as richardson extrapolation 
Now, uh, there are a second uh, nature of extrapolation which is being used in Rombach's integration which is known as repeated extrapolation. So now let us look ki what do you mean by repeated extrapolation. If the local truncation error, you know ki in the first stanza we discuss about the round of error, ki what was the limitation and then we have to follow about the here the local truncation error which is associated with the method is known as power series in H. You know the nature of truncation error. Okay? Then by repeating the extrapolation procedure a number of times we can obtain the method of any arbitrary order. The application of this procedure becomes simplified when the step length is geometric sequences, mind it. This, this meaning, all the uh, engineering students they know what is the meaning of the geometric sequences. For a simplicity, we generally take, for just for simplicity, we generally take q is equal to a uh, 1 by 2. So for simplicity, we generally take q is equal to 1 by 2. To study further, we consider the method. You know this, we may write this like f dash, this derivative of derivative at x naught is equal to f1 minus f of minus 1 by 2x. What is the meaning of f1? f1 is nothing but just to uh, revise your memory f of f at x naught plus h. So f of uh, uh, f at x naught plus h or you can say f at x1. So what is first ordinate? x naught plus h. So it means that is f1 minus similarly f of minus 1. f of minus 1 means f at x naught minus h. So this divided by 2 years. So this is f dash x naught. This we may support this as an equation number 2. Now uh, the local truncation error I have discussed associated with the method of uh, the, the previous equation 2 obtained as we may write this e dash x naught this uh, local truncation error a1 h square plus a2 h power 4 plus a3 h power 6 as we discussed about the uh, this is the geometric sequences yeah. so here all the a's here all the a's means a1 a2 a3 all the a's all constant are constant independent of h they, they are not dependent on h uh, now uh, let us consider another function that is gx is equal to f dash x naught because this is the derivative so this is again a function of x so gx is equal to f dash x naught b the quantity which is to be obtained and g of h by 2 raised to power r h by mind it h by 2 raised to power r denote the approximation value of gx mind it this is a very important sentence g h by 2 power r why we have taken it is already uh, uh, given key here for simplicity we have taken 1 by 2 and then this series and then it means g h by 2 raised to power r denote the approximate value of uh, g x obtained by using the previous equation 2 with the step size h by 2 raised to power r huh? where r is varies from 0 1 2 3 and so on now uh, with this assumption you will get the following equation let us look g at h will be gx plus a1 h square plus a2 h power 4 plus a3 h power 6 and so on ok but now you replace this one for h now we have to replace h by 2 the h by 2 means g h by 2 just to replace every h by h by 2 the gx plus a1 h by 2 is square plus a2 h by 2 power 4 plus a3 h by 2 power 6 and so on. Similarly here g h by 4 is equal to gx plus this is only gx gx plus this is not uh, uh, this, this is only gx mind it uh, plus a1 h uh, by 4 whole square plus a2 h by 4 whole power 4 plus a3 h by 4 power 6 and so on. Let us suppose this whole equation 3 this whole equation 3 now eliminating a1, this a1, this a1 everywhere, just to look, eliminating a1 from the above equation, you will get a very good equation that is g1h is equal to 4 times gh by 2 minus gh by 3. On elimination, you will get this result. 
Thus, therefore, we will say that G1H, G1HY2, or G1HY4, all are uh, the order of four uh, H4 approximations to GX. Similarly, similarly, eliminating A2, we may write this equation. Means G2H is equal to four square G1HY2 minus G1H divided by minus. This this is a very uh, important number. Okay, how you have written? 4 power 2 minus 1. 4 power 2 minus 1. Some books, uh, if you look, they have written 15, but 15 we should avoid to write. We should write like this because after, uh, then it will be simple to understood uh, the Rombach's integration or Rombach's method. So 4 uh, uh, square minus 1 plus 1 by 64. A3 h power 6 and so on. Let us suppose this is an equation number 5. Therefore. The successive higher order results can be obtained from the formula. This is the general formula. On the basis of the above derivation, you can develop this formula and you can define general formula like g of order k h is equal to 4 power k g power k minus 1 h by 2 minus g power k minus 1 of h divided by just to look 4 power k minus 1 4 power k minus 1. Where k is one, two, three, and so on. Uh, also, it is always assumed in your mind that g at zero h is same as g h. So g at zero h means order zero. So that is as g h. This procedure is called repeated extrapolation to the limit. Okay. So this was also necessary to discuss. You, what do you mean by the repeated extrapolation uh, to the limit? Now, uh, all the both uh, uh, this extrapolation method uh, is very necessary. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, to discuss the Rombach's integration. So now, uh, in the next PPT, I will uh, discuss about the Rombach's integration. Okay. So now, uh, as a professor, I believe youngers are always better. So you just you mind my sentence. Do not be the same. Be better. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel so that we can uh, discuss on my YouTube channel live also, and I can reply your queries. Thank you very much. Stay safe.